What is going on people? Welcome back to the typical sim and today we are building Neutron by Rocket Lab and yeah, welcome back to Simple Rockets 2. You guys can stop on subscribing now because there's a video here of Simple Rockets 2. But um yeah, it's probably gonna be a while till another one. But anyway, let's get started. Sure are all them engines? Right, so today we are going to try and build the Neutron Rocket. Now this is going to be hard because I've already recorded this video. And, um, the computer crashed and had to restart. So yeah, I'm restarting again. I already ha built half of the ship as well. So we're going to go to 40 meters here. This is how tall the ship is going to be. Um, we are going to start by getting a command module. Uh, command chip, sorry, get rid of that. We'll move the command module, should we say, two thirds of the way up. Um, I'm actually going to move it with this so I don't offset too much. Right, so this is the size of our rocket, it is 40 meters. We're going to go with about that high. Hold on when you need a friend I'll never let you go again Reach out when your mind's uneasy Cause I'll understand Hold on when you need a friend I'll stay here to the end Get up, don't hang your head We'll take it step by step I'm living in a matchbox All this time All it needed was a little spark Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it And put it in your hand Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it And put it in your hand Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it
Right, so here we are. Let's get launching, shall we? Right. We will lock in our thing. We'll put our flight display up here so you can see. Lock in our heading. Performance. Full throttle. Launch. Now I know this is meant to be landing back at the launch site, so it must be keeping a pr pretty steep ascent profile. Not too sure, but you would think so. Okay, we will start a turn a little bit. Gonna reduce thrust. So we're not wasting fuel. We're a little bit unstable. That's alright. We'll start following prograde now. Should probably lean a little bit more actually. Slow it down again. I'm still seeing seeing stars in the sea. If anyone knows how to fix this, please do let us know because it's an issue that's really annoying us. <laughs> graphics issue so we've still got a lot of fuel in this stage we're gonna go 45 we've got pretty much no air density left so that's fine we're going for a high apoaps here have a look on the map screen just so that second stage has a fighting chance Not sure what the actual launch profile is going to be like. Right, I'm going to cut that there. I'm going to open the fairing. A little bit too much. Uh, quick save. Actually, we'll open it a little bit like that. Separate. Um, F9 and take a screenshot because we want to get the thumbnail here. Of course. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, yes. So we need to start going horizontal. Don't know how long this is going to last. Actually, we've got 3,000 meters per second delta V. Let's stop there. Stop, stop, stop. We've got plenty of time before we come back. So we're going to jump back to our launcher, our first stage. Take control of that, yes. Right, and we're going to shut our shell again. It's a fairing that you don't have to hang on to, uh, let go of, I mean. Right, and we're going to start a boost back burn here. Do need some reaction controls, I think. That would be handy. Waste and fuel. I want to turn towards the launch site.
Still got quite a bit of fuel left. Um, cut. I think we've probably overshot. Go at ten times speed. Just saw that turns around fast. Uh, how long has that got left? It's got a while yet, so we might be able to land this before we will have problems with that. Now we don't know if it's going to have a entry burn or not. I would say it might have to. I don't know though, do we? I'm going to do a little entry burn here. Just to get us sort of back towards the launch site. I don't want to do too much. Right, let's get situated back retrograde, please. Uh oh, no. Yeah. Actually, the fins are the fins are doing the job, keeping us upright. I think we are burning up. Um, that's got ages to up perhaps. It would be nice if we're a little bit closer to the landing site, but we'll take what we can. So we've only got to kill, right, we've got enough Delta V now because we've only got to kill off less than the Delta V we have remaining. Above ground level, we're still 3,000 metres up, we'll wait a bit. One thousand metres. Okay, we'll start our engines now. Lock ourselves in upright position. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. That was an almost perfect manual suicide burn. I mean, we'll take that. We'll take that as a landing. That was brilliant. And then obviously we will go prograde here. This is a bit stubbier than it should be, I think. Or oh, the engine is too big for the size of the stage. Let's just see. Uh, if we go to Apoaps here. Burn, baby, burn. See a 400 kilometer orbit, right? We still have 14% power left. I think we could put quite a bit of payload in to orbit with this craft. But yeah, there we go. There is my neutron rocket. Thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, if you do, feel free to subscribe and like this video. And um, if you want to see more of this, if you want to see us try and launch a payload, then let me know below. Right, I'll see you in the next one, guys.